Okay. Hello to everyone who just arrived. I think I will start the presentation now. Okay. So, hello. Thank you for joining us for this web event today. Um, so, I introduce myself. I'm Jean Baptiste Fleury, pre sales engineer. Um, today, I'm here to tell you about Calas, which is our vehicle dynamics solution uh, that we ship with Scanner. Uh, which is our automotive simulation software. So the goal of this presentation will be to showcase you um, our vehicle dynamics simulation product, which is Calus, uh, and show you how, how it can reduce uh, the cost of your testing and validation process and reduce your time to market. So when it comes to vehicle dynamics uh, in the simulation process, um, OEM constructors, as well as uh, tech companies in the industry, face a wide variety of challenges. Uh, so everything that is related to how your car moves in the space uh, is affected by the environment or how it reacts to emergency braking, etc. Basically, everything that is related to your car physics inside the simulation, um, the challenges are always having a safe car, um, tuning your car to have the best vehicle performances possible, uh, but ride comfort as well when you talk about suspensions, for instance. The, de the development of ADAS is also correlated uh, to your vehicle dynamics, of course. Uh, and so all of these challenges, various challenges, uh, we are able to simulate them today for you to speed up your um, testing process, validation process. So at the end of the day, it accelerates uh, the vehicle development process. So our solutions uh, that we offer for driving simulations uh, are Scanner Studio, which is packaged in the ecosystem that we call, we call Scanner today. Uh, so our automotive simulation solution is an environment, environment authoring tool, but also a scenario designing tool. Uh, you can make your own experiments in it. Uh, you can do parametric exploration. Basically, it covers every single aspect of the driving experience. Uh, it is modeled and simulated inside Scanner, which is one single ecosystem. So with a single software, you'll be able to address all the major aspects of uh, your driving experience, being sensors, headlight simulation. We have a very realistic headlight simulation engine, uh, validation of your ADAS systems, uh, but also the machine learning algorithms of your autonomous vehicles. Uh, we, we offer HMI solutions uh, to study your driver behaviors, infotainment. The idea was really to create one single tool for all your uh, automotive simulation needs. Today, we're going to focus, though, on our vehicle dynamics uh, solution that is embedded in Scanner. So, CALAS is not a word that people necessarily know when they use Scanner. Uh, it's kind of a hidden feature, in quotes, uh, because it is so well integrated that um, generally when you do just scenario testing, you, you, you won't even uh, address uh, vehicle dynamics. But Calas is a full-fledged solution that is actually a 30 years old solution that, have, that has kept being um, developed and enriched uh, throughout the years uh, and that has been integrated uh, to Scanner. Um, so Calas delivers the most accurate, detailed, and efficient methods for simulating the performance of passenger vehicles and trucks as well. Um, with more, more than 30 years of real-world validation um, by automotive engineers, Calas is widely used by scanner users for analyzing vehicles, developing active controllers, calculating a car's performances, uh, and engineering next-generation active safety systems. The process that we talk about generally when we present Scanner is this four steps process that shows you how easy it is to model, integrate, simulate, and analyze your vehicle models. But it can be also be a sensor model as well. That's the great thing about Scanner is that in a single piece of software, you'll be able to model your simulation environment, being the road network, the vehicle, your scenario, uh, or your sensor model directly and integrate it using your pre-existing tool and pre-existing models. For instance, uh, maybe you want to just simulate an ADAS, but you have an external um, vehicle dynamics uh, model, 
uh, you'll be able to connect it uh, to scanner. We are it, the the goal of scanner is to be as open as possible while also respecting industry standards. Then you'll be able to simulate your automotive simulation in a wide range of platforms, uh, being software in the loop, um, but also hardware in the loop. We support real-time targets uh, or full-blown um, dynamic simulators. Uh, you can also run uh, massive simulations inside the cloud with scanner. Uh, that is something that is possible. We have a headless version of scanner uh, for you to run uh, a wide range of test plans. After your simulation is done, you are able to analyze it with our very versatile and complete tool, which is called Analyzing Tool, uh, and export all your relevant data to CSV, XLS, uh, or even MATLAB. The idea behind scanner is to have, once again, a single software uh, throughout the V cycle uh, of, the, of the production, integration, validation uh, of your models. So with Scanner and with the help of Calus, which is our vehicle dynamics software, you will be able to design your model directly inside Scanner, test it, implement it, and run criteria uh, for your validation process. And so you can have a real CI-CD loop uh, of continuous integration uh, only using uh, our solution Scanner, which is, by the way, uh, cross-platform. You can also run it on Linux. Uh, so today, the focus of this presentation will be Calas, uh, the vehicle dynamics port. Uh, so what does Calas mean? You're going to ask me. It means couplé à la limite d'adhérence au sol, which means coupled to the grip limit of the ground. Uh, well, because nearly every single every single physical constraint that is applied to a car has to do eventually with the level of grip between the car tires and the ground. So that's why we chose Calas. I say we chose, but I was even I wasn't even there when it was created. It was created 30 years ago. Um, but about the history of Calas, so this is a software that has more than 30 years experience in the automotive business. So it started in 1990. It was developed by Sarah CD Engineering, which was uh, which was a branch of Sierra Engineering dedicated to motorsports. Uh, and so it was first used in 1990. Uh, by the Peugeot Talbot Sports team uh, for their for their uh, race car at uh, Les 24 Heures du Mans, uh, and so they used they used Calas to test the performances of their supercar uh, to tune it and find the best possible configuration for the car. Um, and throughout the life of the product, it was always used uh, for motorsports for most of its life. Uh, but then when it was bought by Octal and integrated into Scanner. Uh, we added uh, civilian applications as well uh, to hook it up with your ADAS systems and really to to tune it more for being used in a civilian uh, environment. We also have a military version of Calas that was first developed in uh, 1993, which is called Prosper. Uh, it was mainly used by uh, the French army uh, for testing their vehicles in various scenarios. So. The difference, between, the difference between Prosper and Calas is only the name, um, because Calas out of the box supports uh, multiple axles. So if you have a very special vehicle, or even even um, even um, trailed vehicles, we are able to simulate them inside Scanner, uh, simulate the workload uh, of the of the vehicle. Uh, if you have liquids, for instance, in the trailer of your truck, we're able to sim simulate it in a very realistic manner. And so these are all the use cases um, of scanner that, that, that were used. And yeah, so for 30 years, Calas has been in continuous development to always respond to the latest challenges of the automotive industry. Uh, recently, uh, Dassault became a shareholder of uh, AVI Simulation. And so we now embed Calas uh, with the Dassault System Cloud and the 3D Experience tool they provide uh, to have uh, completely embedded and full package of cloud simulation. Uh, we also recently developed uh, Calas RT, which is a real-time targets uh, specific version of Calas uh, that can run on the wide variety of popular real-time targets like uh, NI Very Stand or DSpace. So regarding the Calas features we provide, uh, Calas allows you to model any type of ground vehicle pretty much, being a car, uh, being a truck, being a trailer, uh, motorsports car like F1, 
uh, or military type vehicles. We also provide uh, CALAS models for motorbikes. What is great about CALAS is that, is that it's a non-linear model, meaning that we can simulate vertical, lateral and longitudinal dynamics. Um, we simulate from 16, 16 degrees of freedom of movement, but it has vir virtually no limit. You can put as much uh, degrees of uh, freedom as you want. It, the, the software has no limitation in that regard. Uh, it is coupled to the grip limit of the ground, uh, so that's the name of it. Um, so the CALAS is the simulation engine, which is bundled with scanner. When you when you buy the, the basic package of scanner, it is bundled with it. But we also offer this, the CALAS edition package authoring tool, which will allow you to create a CALAS vehicle from the ground up. And this authoring tool allows you to model your vehicle uh, with three different levels of complexity. So the simplified version is a very high level uh, GUI that will help you um, that will allow you to input um, high level values of your car, very simple values that is that are usually very easy to find out. Uh, what I mean is that if you don't have the whole technical specs of your car, for instance, because you're an ADAS developer, you will be able to put just the high level values of your car. And then the CALA solver will, will be able to read this data, extrapolate it, so it can co convert your simple vehicle dynamics uh, model in a complex one, realistic one during runtime. We also provide an advanced uh, modeling capabilities inside the software, so that this is aimed at engineers that do have the complete specifications of the vehicle, uh, complete technical data of the vehicle, um, so that they can tune every single component by entering uh, you know, the component parameters value by value um, and so that we can reproduce very, in a very, very realistic way, uh, mathematically, um, the vehicle dynamics module. It is very easy to validate your modules, um, your vehicle dynamic modules inside Scanner, because we offer 41 ISO tests uh, predefined directly into the CALAS interface. This video shows one of them. So every single test uh, can be customized. Uh, and you can run your ISO test. It can be something like uh, like these videos, for for instance. So sinus applied to um, to your steering wheel and your car is slalom between cones. A very simple test like this, or it can be a performance acceleration or emergency braking situation. Uh, so all these tests tests that put a lot of stress to your vehicle and are usually very costly to do in real life. Uh, you can do them directly into the CALAS interface of Scanner which is very great, by the way, because it's in the very same interface that's where you design your vehicle. So you can just design your vehicle, change just one value, and then run uh, a couple of tests to see how it affect, affects your vehicle dynamics. Uh, once again, we are compatible with uh, these uh, RT targets. So how does CALAS interfaces with the scanner ecosystem. So once again, scanner for the people who don't know here uh, is a full-fledged uh, automotive simulation environment. So you have uh, your terrain editor, you have your scenario editor, and you can combine all of it to have a very um, lifelike simulation uh, of the driving experience. So you can integrate Calus directly uh, to scanner. Uh, for instance, uh, you can define uh, the ground and the material of your ground in scanner terrain. So what it means by material definition is um, the types of ground. Like if, if you want gravel or sand or snow, uh, it will affect the dynamics of your vehicle. The two software communicate with each other. Uh, you can see an off-road example of the military feature of scanner and, and how the terramic mechanics uh, affects uh, the vehicle dynamics. You can also connect uh, Simulic models, of course, uh, as well as FMI, C++ models, uh, directly uh, with the simulation, so that, for instance, you won't you won't have to model everything from the ground up. If you already have your tire simulation, which is super well done, and you have 10 years of experience in your tire simulation model, you can just connect it to Scanner and connect it to Calus, um, so that the two can work with each other to make one single very realistic vehicle model. 
Um, so the on-road and off-road Kalas um, feature uh, has running surface generator as well as ground picking and cutouts. Uh, you can design your experimentations very quickly using Scanner Studio. Uh, so you can select your ego vehicle, your actors, uh, you can select your KPI and metrics you want uh, to have at the end of your simulation. Uh, so you can analyze them later and, ex and extract them. Uh, you can set up your models inside the Kalas uh, interface. Um, we provide with Scanner uh, several driver models. So for instance, we have a traffic AI model that is completely autonomous. You won't even have to drive the vehicle yourself uh, so that you can only focus on the vehicle dynamics of your car if it was driven by, by a normal person on a normal road, for instance. Or you want to have full control of uh, the car, the, car uh, the vehicle. Uh, and you will be able to hook your vehicle directly to a steering wheel or X input device like a controller or your keyboard even, or um, UDP controls that are um, retrieved from the network or your CAN or Ethercat uh, interface system uh, if you're on a full uh, dynamic simulator. Uh, so all of this is embedded inside Scanner Studio. Uh, and yeah, we provide, uh, so we have a Kalas SDK, more on that later, uh, but what it basically means is that you can externalize uh, parts of your Kalas model um, with MATLAB Simulink, uh, FMI, and C++ uh, add-ons. So the quality of vehicle dynamic simulation, it uh, essentially depends on the vehicle model. Only an outstanding, precise, high-performance model is capable of correctly and efficiently modeling vehicle dynamics in the virtual world. The model quality of Kalas has been proven as Kalas is widely used in the automotive industry and research activities. Um, and all these components uh, are simulated by Kalas in a very, very um, detailed manner. But once again, you have two level, levels of uh, modelization. You can either input very simple and general data in each component of the vehicle, or even if, okay, so let's say you're just an ADAS um, engineer. Uh, and you don't care about vehicle dynamics. You can just take one of the vehicle dynamic samples that we have. We provide 19 different samples of Kalas vehicles that we built ourselves and uh, added to the uh, to the scanner resources. Uh, so they can range from a family car to a four x four pickup truck uh, to a school bus uh, or even to a, to a to a truck with a trailer. Um, so that you don't even have to know anything about Kalas, you can just drag and drop into the simulation and use it. Uh, but let's say you're just interested in your new suspensions uh, technology uh, that you want to ship only on family cars, you can use the family car model of, of Kalas uh, and just modify the suspension sport and use our dedicated testing uh, tools, ISO tests, uh, to see how it affected your car dynamics. So th that's really a great example on how you can use Kalas to design your new technology very quickly, very efficiently, uh, and a, with a very representative uh, vehicle model that will replicate lifelike performances. But of course, you can also um, model your vehicle dynamics in a very detailed manner. Uh, we offer a wide range of uh, features for every single component of your car. Uh, we offer some features that are not available by any of our um, competitors, like the automatic gearbox for the transmission, uh, or the full engine mapping. You can map your your entire en engine map inside inside scanner. Uh, the suspension dampers uh, are sensible to the travel acceleration and the temperature. And um, yeah, so so scanner and Kalas is a very complete tool to design uh, your vehicle in there. Uh, you can even design uh, several different types of engines. Uh, we've been able to design and uh, test electric engines with Kalas uh, since the mid 2000s. So it has been a very refined feature. We also do uh, battery simulation, of course. And uh, yeah, the idea is that once again, you have multiple levels of modelization. So if you have full specs uh, of your vehicle, you'll be able to input all of them inside um, the Kalas uh, GUI. Uh, and if you have only general truths about your vehicle and very basic information, the Kalas solver will be able to extrapolate it and at the end of the day, create a very um, advanced vehicle model anyway during the simulation runtime. 
So how does Scales accelerate your development process? Well, with Scales, since we're in a simulation environment, you're able to compare two vehicle models very easily. You'll be, able, you'll be just doing one simulation with one model, one simulation with the other, and compare the results. Analyzing tool provides you tools to compare graphs from multiple simulations in one single user interface. Um, we have a huge components library, uh, and you can you can add components to this library yourself. So, for instance, if you're de you've designed a very uh, complicated, a very complex uh, engine model inside inside Kalos, you'll be able to save it, to reuse it uh, at a later date on a different vehicle, and see how we, um, how using this type of vehicle of uh, engine, sorry, uh, versus this type of engine on this vehicle will affect uh, its um, its dynamics. We also provide um, a GUI for parametric exploration. Um, so the interest, of course, of course, being that you'll be able to find that uh, the very precise tuning for your car to have the best performances possible uh, on a on a specific test. Uh, the analyzing tool uh, gives you very specific analyzing reports uh, so that you can extract the data from the simulation, only the data that interests you. Um, and use it to refine your model uh, and have, you know, some kind of um, perpetual um, perpetual integration loop. So Kalas is used in a wide range um, of industries, uh, being more sports, uh, but also in the military. Uh, it has its, its applications for off-road, uh, but also road driving, of course, it has been tailored for road driving and civilian use in the recent years. But all these features, these great features that were developed uh, specifically for the motorsports for all these years and specifically for the military, it all came together and it was everything was packaged in one single product that is Kalas. Um, and every single um, use case can be responded to with Kalas because we provide. Uh, you know, very interesting tools for each of uh, these areas. For motorsports, for instance, uh, we provide specific tools um, to do speed profiles or best lap times uh, that will allow you um, to, you know, get uh, the best driving lines possible, for instance. More on that later. I have some slides about it. Um, so for motorsports, for instance, we have specific features like independent uh, tire pressure. Uh, and for military, we have specific features like tracked vehicles. You can model your, your tracked vehicles in a very detailed and realistic manner, but also simulate um, a turret firing a gun uh, at the top of a, of a vehicle to see how it uh, interacts with your simulation models. So, as I said earlier, um, Calas has its uh, genesis grounded into the motorsport uh, field. And so we provide specific tools uh, for the motorsport industry, uh, like the sp speed profile computation. Uh, so this tool, uh, when using this tool, a vehicle's approximate speed profile can be rapidly uh, computed on a given track. Uh, this can be particularly useful when defining setup before an actual test trial, for instance. And it was used that way. Uh, it was used uh, in the WRC. It was used. Um, in F1 championships in France, as well as, as, as Le Mans. Uh, it was used in the Super GT championship in Japan uh, by Nismo. Uh, and it's, it is still used today by several motorsports uh, teams. Uh, the computation is based on the attraction circle approach, uh, which is, you know, your very staple. Uh, it, it, it's a big staple in the motorsports uh, industry. When you talk about uh, traction circle, it's really what, what you want the most um, as a result of a simulation. Uh, when you talk about speed profile, that's what I mean. Um, to speed the process, only the vehicle's pure longitudinal and lateral performance uh, are computed, and uh, coupling is estimated uh, at a later stage. Uh, so it will help you find your traction budget to get the best line possible, determine the slip angle of your vehicle for a very specific configuration of your components. So you can tune every single component of your race car and see how it affects the slip angle, how it affects your traction budget, and you know use our param parametric exploration tool 
to find the best fit possible. We also provide a, a dynamic lab, lab computation. So unlike uh, the spread profile pre-computation, using dynamic lab simulations enables the user to observe a precise vehicle behavior over one lap. The vehicle is driven by an automatic pilot. All vehicle elements are computed, such as the suspensions, with their springs, dampers, torsion bore, automatic locking differentials can be selected, etc. Uh, so it's a very complex tool and very realistic simulation uh, of a dynamic lab. The user needs to indicate the position of the starting line, apex line, as well as the estimated position of the breaking points along a trajectory uh, to enable the computation. And then the autonomous driver will, will try to follow the apex line as best as possible. And it will be you know, extremely uh, interesting for the motorsports team and the driver to see how much pressure they should put on the brakes and on the, um, on the gas pedal at each single corner so that they can get their corner with the most optimal route possible and get into that apex line. Uh, one great example of how uh, great Kalas is at simulating real life vehicle dynamics uh, is the Indy Automotive Challenge that was uh, made. Uh, it was a joint effort between ANSYS and Cisco uh, in 2021. Um, so what was it about? ANSYS mod modeled the Indy 500 racetrack completely inside Scanner Studio. Um, they modeled full F1 cars that actually existed, uh, are still used on racetracks, uh, and they modeled sensors. They went to several universities and said, OK, we need some students for these experiments. So a lot of uh, engineers from university came to this challenge, and the goal was to design uh, the best autonomous driver possible to drive the F1 cars along the Indy 500 uh, track. And they they were only allowed to use scanner, the Kalas model, and the sensors uh, provided. Uh, so it was all about uh, designing the best algorithm for autonomous the, the autonomous driver as best as possible. Um, and why this is so important is because the simulation is so realistic with scanner that you can have enough confidence to deploy it on a real F1 car and deploy your autonomous driver that you've designed inside scanner on a real F1 car and it, and it will work. So this is the Polymove F1 car, by the way, uh, the, the, the white car you see um, on the simulation. And this is the same car in real life on the Indy 500 track. So you can observe a correlation near 1-1 ratio between simulation and real life. Uh, the error margin observed during these events is usually uh, inferior to 1.4. Uh, another great example on how Kalas was used uh, to implement a vehicle model tested without using it in real life to save a lot of money and a lot of time uh, was for the French army and Thales. Um, with our tractors and trailers uh, variable load simulation. So what happened is that Thales came to us and told us they wanted their trailer truck to be uh, compatible with this uh, French Army procedure. It was a very specific procedure with very specific, specific criteria and very specific ISO tests. So they came to us, uh, gave us the specifications, and we were, we were able to model the whole um, truck for them, uh, model the terrain for them, model the test scenarios for them, um, and run the simulation. So what we provided was service to, mo to, uh, to modelize the truck using their specifications, modelize the terrain, modelize the scenario, and give them uh, a full report uh, and analysis, as well um, as advices on mass position related to the center of gravity uh, so that they can uh, abide to the SCAT procedure. Um, so this slide is meant to show you that you can come to us with a project in mind. You don't even have to develop anything. You just give you give us our spec the specifications of the project of, where you, of what you're trying to achieve. And as a service, we can provide the modelization of your vehicle. We can provide the modelization of the terrain, the scenario, uh, the, the whole environment, and also provide you uh, the analysis results. 
By the way, it's not a problem if you ask for the whole simulation results. We can just give you the whole simulation results in full without any kind of um, advices or uh, data treatment. Uh, but in this case, they wanted proper analysis and results and advices on how to improve their truck's performance. So at the end of the day, the benefits of using Callus uh, with scanner is that it's the best of the two worlds, basically. Calas is the best vehicle dynamic solution on the market today, the most realistic one and the most versatile. And you can use it with scanner because it is made for scanner. Since the mid 2000s, we integrated it with scanner uh, when it was bought by Octal. And finally, IV simulation was born in 20, 2017. And so Calas is at the center of scanner. Uh, it is completely um, interoperable. It is completely uh, usable inside the interface of scanner. You won't even see a difference between the scanner interface and the Callas interface. It's all very well uh, blended together. Um, it has mobile mass simulation, so solid or liquid simulation, complex 3D computation of based on the tank shapes. Uh, so we know this is a, a very demand uh, feature on the market and not a lot of uh, vehicle dynamic solutions can provide that and we provide it. So you, you won't have to use your CAD software and your fluid dynamic software. Uh, and you know, you, you'll have to hook up 10 different softwares to run your simulation. You can run all of it inside just scanner with one license. Um, you can model multi-body vehicles. So for instance, if you have a truck with two trailers and uh, I don't know, 10 axles, you can do it inside scanner. It is totally possible. We provide services at each stage of the simulation cycle, uh, being training to use the software, startup assistance. When you, when, you, when you buy the software, we can assist you for a couple of days to get you, um, help you getting started uh, to use it properly. Uh, we provide documentation, of course, inside, inside the software. We provide a lot of samples and demos inside the software for you to test and fidget around with. Uh, but we also provide, once again, services to build your vehicle dynamics models, uh, build your simulation environments, uh, help you analyze the results. But we also provide uh, services to operate the software. Uh, if you want, for instance, to have a complete vehicle simulation inside the cloud, but you, you have no idea how to do it, no idea how to deploy a scanner, uh, we can provide this kind of, um, of services. Actually, we provide them quite regularly um, so to, to deploy a scanner in the cloud. This is a very demanded topic. So thank you for your attention. Uh, we will start the Q&A session now. Uh, just a quick word, we have the scanner days coming up on the 18th of October. It will be at L'Apostrophe, which is in Les Champs-Élysées. Uh, and after, so it is a physical event in Paris, uh, in which we'll talk about the new features of scanner and the future of AV simulation and, uh, you know, where our company is heading, uh, what we want to turn scanner into in the future. Um, we will also be uh, here at the SIA uh, show and uh, Le Mondial de l'Auto, which is at uh, Porte de Versailles, which is the automotive show in, in Paris. Um, just one thing before the Q&A starts, uh, keep in mind that you can download Scanner for free, a trial version with all the features I just talked about today. They are inside the trial. So the trial is an unlocked version of Scanner with all the, um, all the different packs and add-ons uh, that we give to you for free to try out. Uh, the idea being that you have a project in mind, you want to be sure that it actually works with Scanner and you want to integrate your vehicle models of, or your external models to Scanner and you, you want to make sure it works. Uh, so you can use the trial for that. Uh, we provide a quick start guide on GitHub. Uh, we have a YouTube channel uh, in which all our web events are posted. You can rewatch them on VOD, uh, as well as a lot of tutorials and videos to help you getting started with Scanner. And we also provide very detailed and versatile sample samples pack that you can download on GitHub. Uh, this is absolutely made to be used with uh, the trial. Uh, the idea being that you download the trial for free and then you get the samples pack for free. So you have um, you know, the full scanner experience for 30 days uh, to see if the software suits your needs. Uh, and then you can 
of course, uh, subscribe to the various web events. Uh, we try to have at least one web event a month. Uh, sometimes it's more. It can be up to two or three web events a month. Uh, and so, yeah, please check it out. We have a calendar uh, that is al always up to date uh, with the coming uh, web events that you can register to. Uh, so I will get some questions now, if you have any. Uh, yes, Jeremy, I just saw your question in the chat. It's it's no problem, of course. Okay, no questions? Okay, well, Thank you very much for joining us uh, today. It was a pleasure. Um, don't, um, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you have some questions. You have to raise your hand on Teams and then uh, the marketing team. You can type it here, yeah, directly in the chat. Or you can raise your hand and the marketing team will unmute you. Okay, thank you very much for your presentation. I'm uh, Ibrahim Riai from a uh, researcher in uh, at the uh, Gustav Eiffel University in the laboratory of uh, accident uh, mechanism. Uh, actually, uh, we we are interested uh, in the class uh, software for simulating a project that we have uh, uh, by now. And uh, in your presentation, I saw uh, one part uh, concerning tractors and trailers a study with a variable load. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this, the, that's the part uh, which uh, interests us the, the more. And uh, we wanted to know how, how it works. Actually, you said they, uh, we needed to contact you to to modify the model to to uh, to put for load positions, or we can do it uh, ourselves uh, as we as we like. Oh, of course, you can do it or yourself. What we provide is service for using the tool. What I mean is that if you don't have the time, for instance, to model the tool yourself uh, with a with a with the Kalas editor we provide, we can do it for you. Uh, but of course, you have all the features I talked about today are available in the software when you purchase it. We don't have uh, like just our tools that we don't share and we use them as a service. No, no, no. Every tool we use is uh, available in in Scanner. So yeah, you can modify your um, your variable load directly in the GUI. Okay, perfect. Uh, and uh, this uh, th this model with the variable load, uh, how, how does it uh, uh, work? Actually, it's it's for seeing the effect of load on uh, stability and uh, on the dynamic vehicles on, or uh, for, for example if uh, the loads can move if there is a contact model between the load and the, the tractor or uh, or no it's just the fix uh, a fixed load uh, on on the on the on the coming on the track uh, you have several ways to do it. So you can have a simple um, 
adding load feature. If you if you want just to add load to your vehicle, you just you can just enter a number in kilograms or tons, and it will just add it to the vehicle like uh, to the vehicle uh, on the center of gravity. But of course, we provide a detailed load simulation uh, for your load to move around inside the trailer or inside your vehicle during the simulation. Uh, for instance, if you think about um, a delivery truck with moving packages or um, or uh, a fuel truck that has liquid fuel inside it. Uh, we we model and we provide uh, tools to simulate it inside um, the simulation. Once again, this is all, you have all the tools to do it. We, we You don't need to contact us uh, for us to do it. You, you can do it if you don't have time, uh, but you can do it yourself inside the software. We have all the tools to, to model it. So, so, so it's uh, possible to modelize a, a, a mobile load, for example, a box that it can move inside the, the, the truck. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and even honestly, even if you don't, if we don't provide the features uh, out of the box in scanner, you can always connect the custom IO, uh, your custom IO uh, dynamics add-on to Calus. So for instance, let's say you have an agriculture use, um, that we don't necessarily provide for a particular um, for a particular piece of equipment that will um, you know interact with your vehicle dynamics. You can connect this feature to Calus if you modeled it in Simulink, for instance, uh, directly, so that it will interact with your vehicle dynamics during the simulation. Uh, but yeah, to respond to your to your question, uh, we um, we model uh, move, moving uh, moving load during the simulation. Yeah. Okay, so, so it, uh, which means uh, there is a contact uh, model uh, integrated in the in the model already, which uh, takes into account the the, uh, the addition and uh, the skid resistance by far, for example, between the two bodies. Uh, it takes into account uh, the load that is moving around. Um, as for the very the technical specificity and the friction, I, I wouldn't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't think so. But I'm not sure. I will. I will ask the the technical team about it. Uh, okay. For the friction, I I'm not sure. I can I can answer. Okay, perfect. And, and it's uh, possible to to put, uh, for example, a load on the box uh, to to add a load on the box uh, with the, the mobile box in inside the truck. That's a good question. Uh, once again, I'm not. I'm not sure we can simulate. We can simulate moving loads, but as in, um, will the vehicle dynamics uh, in Calus directly provide you a way to put 20 different boxes moving around inside the trailer? Um, I'm not sure. Um, what you can always do is do your simulation of the moving boxes in an external software and communicate with Calus through UDP or create um, Create a Callas module in uh, in a DLL form and connect it to Callas. This is totally possible, by the way. If you have a software to simulate the moving uh, of your boxes uh, for the moving uh, for the moving load, uh, you can connect it. Uh, you can send uh, all the data through UDP to to interact with the vehicle model. Okay, perfect. So, so the the Callas can take into account uh, the the effect of uh, moving the, the gravity, uh, the center of uh, mass, uh, the moving of the uh, center of mass of the load on uh, vehicle dynamics. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm here with uh, my uh, with our trainee that uh, it, uh, suppose, uh, he's supposed to work on this project and uh, he has uh, some question uh, as well if uh, you have uh, time. Um, maybe it would be better if we scheduled uh, an appointment. I will. I will get back to you by email and okay, schedule perfect. something. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, well, once again, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, and uh, yeah, don't hesitate to uh, get the scanner trial uh, if you've never used the software uh, to test on your projects. And uh, yeah, check out the samples pack and the quick starts guide. It will really help you uh, get things started if you want to to evaluate the software to see if it fits your needs. Um, thank you very much for joining me, uh, and I'll see. I hope I'll see you again for another web event. Thank you very much. Bye.